Yeah, I just think, I mean, Cliff Godwin's still there and that coaching staff is awesome and they've just become this team and this program and this brand you can really trust. I'm 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 done predicting Omaha for East Carolina. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm done doing that. I'm actually, if anything, I'm going to predict that you're not going to make it there. So see if that reverse jinx works. But in all seriousness, I mean, you know, uh, East Carolina has just really created distance between themselves and the rest of the American and, and like crazy distance. And so, you know, the last five years, 44 wins or more every single year and the last seven years, four super regionals if I'm counting, right? I mean, just like how good they've been has been remarkable. Hosting regionals, hoping super regional, hosting super regionals. And then, so I just think it's a team and a brand that you can really trust. And now the Americans changing and I think it's changing for the better. Like I like what the Americans done. Um, Houston's a big loss, but I think Charlotte's, and by the way, I could mess this up. Like I'm, I conference realignment is a real pickle right now, but like, you know, Charlotte's coming in, FAU's coming in, UTSA's coming in. I don't think I'm messing those ones up. I mean, those are good teams, you know, like those are regional caliber teams. So I think it will be harder for East Carolina to dominate the new American than it was, you know, the, the just utter dominance they created in the old situation. Um, but, you know, it's just, I think if, if you're ranking East Carolina pretty high, which I was part of that, it's a, it's a little bit of a program pick, and you look at the roster, and you've got a, a legit dude in Trey Savage. You've got just – it's a nice, balanced roster. Like, there's veterans kind of all over the place. There's exciting newcomers. There's not one glaring strength, maybe outside of you, Savage, um, but there's not – there's no weakness that you look at, and you're like, oh, that's a major concern. So, I don't know. Like, it just – it feels like East Carolina being good has gotten boring, and I don't know that I could give them a bigger compliment than that. 